Hello lovelies and welcome to my channel. Today we will learn to make a simple bow tie. Bow ties are very common in fun formal events such as dinners, cocktails, parties and night outs. In fact, the dress code of black tie requires a black bow tie. You can make this bow tie for your significant other, your child, other family members and even give it as a gift. Don't forget, women too can look classy in a bow tie. Let's get started. So this is what you will need to make a bow tie. You're gonna need your favorite fabric, of course. So what you need uh, to choose from your fabric is, you know, you need to choose what part of the print you want to show for the bow tie. So for example, this fabric has, um, different patterns if you want this area to be um, to be the one seen on the outermost like the dominant print you're going to have this as the middle or if it's this you're gonna have this as the middle of the bow tie as I will as I will show so from your fa your favorite print of the fabric you're going to need a piece for the bow tie this is going to be the piece for the bow tie and it's going to be five inches by 14 and three quarters of uh, inches. So five inches by 14 and three quarters. And uh, this is going to be the band. That this is going to be the one that goes around the neck. So this one is going to be um, 21 and a quarter inches by two and a half. So this is going to be two and a half and this is 21 and a quarter. So what happens to this one is you're going to fold it and you're going to sew at a quarter an inch, which you will see that. And you also need a knot. So this is going to be the one holding the knot in the middle. So what I did is the middle of my bow tie is going to be this part. So once it's made and uh, and all together, so this is the going to be the middle. I chose this um, teal color part to be part of, to be in the middle. So this is going to be it. So so I chose this contrasting print to be the one that is going to be the knot of the bow tie. What you also need is um, fusing. I chose the hard uh, the hard fusing because I, I would like for my bow ties to be structured and st stiff a little bit. So you can get these in your local store. So what you do is you're going to cut the same size as the bow tie fabric. So you can put this on top of that and cut around it. And then you're going to take this to the machine so the shiny part is the glue part that's the one that is going to uh, bond to the wrong side of the fabric as you can see here so you're going to put it together after you have cut put it together and iron from the fabric side so that it melts the glue to bond with the with the fabric so for for closure I'm not going to use the the normal bow tie closures I'm going to use an easy velcro so you can get this also from your I think your craft store has it or your local fabric store have them I chose to use this because it's easily accessible and it's uh, easy to attach just for a simple bow tie so after this step you're going to do the the fusing bonding to the fabric after you do that you're going to um, iron it down
I'm using three eighths of an inch for seam allowance for this part. So you're going to sew around uh, using 3 eighths of an inch for seam allowance and you're going to leave an opening here. So this is the opening that is going to help us to, to turn the fabric um, right side out. So before you do that, you're going to clip the edges. This will help the, the edges to lie flat. Use a pin to pull the corners out to make sure it's um, a right angle, like a sharp right angle at the edge. So after you have uh, closed the gap where we, we used to flip the bow tie, you're, you're going to fold it in half and from the edge, from the edges you're going to measure 6 inches, 6, um, six centimeters, that's about 2.5 um, inches. After you have that measurement. So what you're going to do is you're going to um if you're if you're unsure you can actually like draw a line on where you're going to um stitch but i kind of i'm gonna eyeball it so six um six centimeters which is about 2.5 inches so i'm going to stitch that down Mm. 
Okay, so after you've stitched this part, the the where where you folded it in halfway, so that fold is gonna come and meet this um the stitching line the stitching line that you made so that in the end it looks like that so this is going to be the back actually and this is going to be the front so after you have done that you can press it down to uh, keep it together and then um, I kind of like after this like to pinch it in like half like that and flip it like that does that make sense no it doesn't okay try to kind of fold it in half like this and then flip it up a little bit like that So that's going to be the shape of it. So how I like to do to make the shape stable is I'm going to go where I stitched and just stitch a little bit, not all the way to the end, but just a little bit just to make, to keep it um, held down so that when I'm done, it's already like holding itself like that. So now we're going to work on the knot and the knot is this this little piece that um, we cut we're going to sew it on the edges and then um, it's going to end up holding this part down like so let's do that so with the right sides together because you're sewing from the wrong side i'm going to sew with the three eighths seam allowance i know it's a tiny piece so you're gonna really try to flip it inside out finish this one you will need uh, two threads because you need it very stable so you're kind of like going to fold the, the raw edges into back into it and then bring this like that and then fold into it make sure not to um press it too much so that it's not like so tiny leave it some space so after you've laid it down like that so you're kind of gonna go in and do some stitches to hold it together make sure you don't touch the bow tie because the what's that the other strip is going to go underneath here so if you're holding the if you touch the stitches with the bow tie then the the other strip will not be able to go in so just finish it up Clean up any raw edges as you're as you're finishing that up. So after you've sealed the that you've uh, stitched it together like that. So this is what we what we have now. So now we need to put the band behind here that is going to go around the neck. 
that's this strip the long strip that we made so we're going to turn it right sides together so that we can sew the edges and again I'm gonna use the three three eighths uh, seam allowance Actually, this part now I'm using a quarter of an inch seam allowance. So we have also left an opening here to help us flip this. We are um, going to do the same thing, clip the edges just as we did with the bow tie. And then turn it the right side out. If you're wondering which other ways you can use to uh, flip this since it's like a a thin strip and you might not your finger might not be able to go in you can use one of these um, tweezers so you go in clip on like one corner somehow and bite it and then turn it oops you're gonna have to get a good grip to do that Always pull out your edges with a pin to give it a clean finish. So we're going to do the same thing we did with the bow tie, which was to... Um, Sew up this opening. And the the stitches you're making, they're not touching the right side. So you're trying to make it as invisible as possible. So it's kind of like... Remember to hide the knots inside. So it's kind of like a running stitch that goes up and down to touch onto all of them. Kind of like this. Take the upper one, get out, take the lower one, get out somewhere, take the upper one again, get out. So you do that until you have finished the, the whole opening. A 
at this point i highly advise you to uh press it down with your iron so that like you get rid of all the wrinkles that are there the that happened when you when you were flipping the this inside out so once you have pressed that down and it's neat so we're gonna take it um and put it under in between the the knot and the bow tie and i'm gonna use again my tweezer to pull it out Adjust it until it's um, like the middle part is on the middle part. Keep balancing it. Like that. So what I do at this point is I go in with my needle and secure this place so that... Um, when you're wearing the bow tie, it's not like the strip is not fully coming out. None of this is moving. And again, you have to be sure this is how you want it to be to finish this part. So I go in and um, from the bow tie, get into that and go through the, um, the band and to the knot. So that all the three pieces are are uh, held and kind of go in like that with a few stitches to secure that you're gonna do that on this side and on this side So once this is uh, put down and it's a kiwa, so if you can see, if I'm pulling on it as hard as I can, it can't come out. So now it's time to put on a closure. So in this case, like I said, I decided to use the Velcro. It's not the best option, but um, it's, the, it's, the, it's, the, it's uh, more readily available than the other clips that I used to do that so what I do what I do is um, I'm going to cut three inches of velcro so if for um for a man's tie for a man's bow tie for a man's everything, the left side goes over. So this side is going to be the one over this side. I suggest putting the rough, putting the rough one on the outer part so that it faces in, so that it's not gonna touch on anything. So if you were to put these on the inner part, Let's say if you're closing and this and according to whatever they adjust it to be, this part is left out. It's going to uh, rub on maybe their shirt or maybe their um, jacket and that's going to ruin it. So I will put this on this side and the soft one on the inside so that if any of this is exposed, it's not going to ruin anything. So I'm kind of like um, just putting it somewhere in there. This strip is obviously long, so I'm going to leave some part there. And if there's someone specifically you're making this for, you can measure them as you go to get the, a, a perfect like uh, measurement. But this one, I'm going to put it not too far from the edge because you don't want too much fabric hanging out.
and then I'm, I'm going to sew only the edges So we are done. Now the Velcro, as they're wearing it, they can wear it. If if they want a loser fit, they can wear it at this point. Well, this softer point is a, is exposed, which doesn't affect anything. Or if they are smaller, they have a smaller neck, they can wear it at this point. Or even they even if they have a much smaller, they can go all the way like past that like that so um, clean it up all the loose threads now this is what we have we have a bow tie Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a comment below if this was so awesome. Also, follow me on Instagram for more information. Don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, keep it so awesome.